Congregation, let's turn to Mark 12 this morning, continuing there. As you're turning there, as we just sang a setting of Psalm 16, I maybe I'm just strange, but do you wonder when you sing a psalm like that or read one of the psalms that reflects on and is instructive about an error that groups make about God? Do you wonder, didn't they read the psalms? I think about the Sadducees. Didn't they read Psalm 16? Where God said that there's resurrection. Um, the certainty of life after death. Psalm 16, of course, isn't the only psalm that addresses that matter. But I just wonder about those things and how they can ignore the clarity given to us in the word of God. But it's not that surprising, is it, when we look at what's going on. Again, contemporary matters in our own day and age. And about our own lives also. It's not that surprising. Well, congregation, to Mark chapter 12, and at verses 18 through 27, some very instructive things for us this morning. This is the word of the living God. Then the Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to him with a question. Teacher, they said, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies and leaves a wife but no children, the man must marry the widow and have children for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first one married and died without leaving any children. The second one married the widow, but he also died, leaving no child. It was the same with the third. 